We are live with another episode of Terra Invicta. Hello, everybody. You guys ready to play some Dungeons and Dragons? Because I am. Um, yeah. So as Emily pointed out before we got start before we got started, and Seth reacted very strongly to, uh, today we're gonna kill a dude. <laughs> So, I forgot that was next on the list. That's why I react mm-hmm. strong. I was like, wait, we killed the I mean, we never killed the guy last week. Right. So Anna <laughs> has signed up to assassinate one of the nobles of the city for a <laughs> guild of women assassins. And has justified it several different ways in her mind. Um <laughs> look, I was told by father valentine that i'm supposed to get in at these people and this is how i get in at these people and then he told me it was okay and if he told me it was okay then why would he tell me something that wasn't like okay with dragonborn jesus like sure, he's sure. he's sure. the leader of our orders so like why would he be doing that yeah. it wouldn't make any sense so mm-hmm. you know it all makes sense yeah yeah so uh i think we so it, i guess it's the next day whatever that is okay uh, and i'm assuming while well, you find the date emily i'm November assuming 27 okay perfect i'm assuming that like you guys would want to do this at night right um you're like gonna go under the cover of darkness yeah. makes the most sense. yeah i'd be interested like in just kind of maybe during the day like walking around and kind of scouting out mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The area, I'm guessing Audrin is probably kind of familiar with the area. <clears throat> yeah, it's in Shadow Shore. Um, so he's more familiar <clears throat> with it for sure. Um oh, Yeah, who real, real is quick. going. Or was it all of us? That I, are it going? sounded like everyone was going. It sounded like everyone was like on board for it. If you're not wanting to go, you don't I'm not gonna no, force I, you to go. I feel like I at one point I remember us talking about only two people going, but I well, couldn't so, remember if that yeah, was the last pl- Anna and Audrin are not. the other ones who could sneak in like effectively. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean that Deli and Take We can't be like on standby if something goes wrong, right? Deli goes spider mode. Oh, or she could do that. Yeah, for sure. Deli actually has lots of options here. Take We is the mm-hmm. only one really that like couldn't be clanking along the side. I'm gonna everybody. blow your cover. Clunk, 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 clunk. Hey, I'm fire not, lady. I don't have heavy, <laughs> not that, yeah, I not that you have armor, armor, but you're just not a good at stealth. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah. I'm so used to Raya with can her go heavy undercover. armor being the problem last time. So. Say again. If she goes undercover and the rest of us go stealth. I suppose that's an option. I don't know what cover take we would want in the situation. It, Look, we need like a solid over- like we need a solid two, three weeks to establish a clear yeah, cover. I was gonna so say, be a street performer. It, it sounds like it, that's probably overcomplicating. No, it, no. It. Here's what we do. Take we isn't she's not she doesn't go with us. She goes as a distraction. <laughs> Intentionally <laughs> doing something else. Uh, yeah, very she, obnoxious she, in the she just opposite direction. A fight with go. the guards at the front of the compound. Honestly, not That's the worst trouble. idea. That ever. isn't the worst idea. Yeah, it actually isn't because chances are they probably don't have magic, and I can just like rage and just like take them out myself. Probably. Mm-hmm. We'll just we'll just do the but, another the other. Uh, it's it'll be the exact same situation as the bullywug fight, right? Take is just going to be in one place, constantly failing to take out guards, but never dying, and everyone else is going to be sneaking up into a top room and or dying like every up there. time. Well, here's the thing: or we leave Delhi behind with Take We. Every time Take We goes down, Delhi just like healing words her. That's true. And the guards are like, "Why won't you die?" <laughs> yeah, Delhi's just hiding in a bush, like. Yeah. yeah. What, what? I guess the real question is, how much do we want to split the party? <laughs> yeah, that's I fair. think I think if we can, like, during the day, kind of see where he is and where he's going to end up that yeah. night, because I think that's going to have something to do with what the True. plan can be. Yeah. True. <clears throat> cool. Um, yeah. So it sounds like we're going to do stakeout of the um the manor um is there anything else let's just get real quick make a list of like everything that you guys want to do today before the actual assassination um and we can get them done in whatever order but just so we know um can we buy some more healing potions with party gold of course yeah because oh, sure. i think we're pretty low at this point yeah um how much does sense. everybody ha- how many healing potions does everybody have Zero. I, think I, did, I don't think I used any of mine last week. Yeah, I think Anna and Audrey both used theirs. 
I Mommy, can one. we have more healing potions, please? Actually, wait. I used. Real quick, let me check the budget. <laughs> I'll give up with this week if I can just have a healing potion. <laughs> please, sir, may I have some more healing potions? Please. I'll give up my allowance for a month. Adrian, how many uh, do you have? I don't have any. I use all of mine. You don't have any. Would we have had a long rest at this point? I'd never reset yeah. anything. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, okay. I actually um, have a do greater healing. want two healing potions or three healing potions each? I have two potions and one greater healing potion. So I'm okay, good. Okay, so you don't need anything. Yeah, um, and I've got all my magic. Would you? What would you guys like? Do you guys want two to be like the standard or should we have three just to be sure? Because we mean, can afford three, so I feel like two right now is fine. Okay, I'm gonna just go with two. Okay, because we should take two, Thank and I'll you. also take one, so that means all of us have two. Yeah, because I mean, this is just like it's not like we're going off somewhere. We're still going to be in the city, right? Right. Any okay. requests on spells prepared for this? Um, like kinds of spells. I don't want to read pass everything. without trace. Do you have that? Yes, I have that. <clears throat> do you want any charming spells? I can do actually. Yeah, I have charm person. Yeah, I'm Don't starting to think that honestly, the best plan, like is... assuming what we find out the stakeout plan, is for you three to go yeah. up together and for me to just like be a distraction. Yeah, like because I can just run away. Also, you know, yeah, let's, I mean, let's let's figure out what we can find out from the stakeout before we like fully commit to that. Yeah, no, 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 for sure, for sure. But I'm just saying, like, mm. not sounding like a terrible idea at this point. And if Audrin has any extra shadow shore insight into the situation for him being him and knowing everything and being good at everything and mm-hmm. <laughs> overall solid check? dude. <laughs> Can I do a history check for that, Caleb? Uh, so sorry, I missed something. Up. I was reading a burning wheel meme. Uh, c- continue. Wow. Whoa, <laughs> you're playing Caleb. D&D I, and you're I, looking well, at I know. Memes. I was just so surprised that it, like, it was a burning wheel meme. And I was like, this isn't a thing normally. Continue. What were you saying? Um, can I do a history check to see if I know Shadow Shore things about... About what's his name specifically, I assume? Yeah. Yeah, or maybe like um, the specific area we're going to be in. Or yeah, right, or yeah, right. So this the specific intent is like anything you need to know to make the infiltration better, <gasps> right? Yeah, just get, to kind of get an edge on this yeah. whole thing. Wait, guys, I did just remember something. Yes, there was a name that got mentioned last time. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, specifically, I have to it, ask. Got, it got mentioned to Anna and. Mm-hmm. She, Alice on Boswell. Would be, yeah, it would be up to Anna whether or not she'd share that with you guys. I'm trying to remember the context. Um, the one Nestor guy was it. Nestor was trying sh- to find him to kill it to kill yes, him because yes. he killed who's responsible for killing his family. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't think I'm intentionally hiding it, but I don't know why I would have brought it up to the yet, group. Yeah. Is the thing. Like if you if you brought his name up, I would be like, "Oh, I've heard that's a bad dude," and maybe I want to help kill him. Yeah, but I don't. Th- I don't think I would volunteer that information. Yeah, there's not really any reason to yet. It's not like you guys can actually do anything about it. So, yeah, Seth is trying to do something. I never figured something out with my voice changer. I completely spaced on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so can Audrin do a history? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm just getting to the Shadow Shore section of this document real quick. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a history check, Audrin, and we'll see what you know. Oh, wow. Mm. 11 is not super hot. I mean, you've <laughs> lived in Shadow Shore your whole life, so it's not like you know nothing. Um, it's just that. So here, um, we're looking at the map here. I've not lived there my whole life, or most of several I years. Lived in Shadow Shore that several long. years. There you go. Um, 
Yeah, this is the manor right here. Um, wait, 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 wait. Where's the manor? Sorry. Okay. There we go. Right there. On Grifter's Lane and Harbor Way. Um, and. I mean, in terms, I mean, it has a walled com. It's a walled compound. Has a big manor house in the center of it, and really, that's probably all Audra knows. Like Sh Shadow Shore is the kind of place that you can basically go anywhere if you have thief, you know, skills, which most of the denizens of Shadow Shore do. But the manor house is probably the one place that you can't. Right? It's the one place that just has too many guards. I mean, this dude is in power for some reason, right? And it, it, at the very least, he has the violence necessary, the force necessary, the guards necessary to keep any Snoopy no noses out uh, of his business and out of his secrets. So Audrin probably is just like, well, I mean, I've never tried breaking in here before because the thieves always said that was suicide. <laughs> so don't really know a whole lot. Excellent start. Love that info. Yeah, yeah. Well, that just makes me nervous for Take We getting left outside if the guards are extra violent and mm -hmm. uh, a plenty. Yeah. Hmm. Would well, I at I'm least be able to give her like, like the like tell her the common route of like or the best couple of ways that she might be able to get out if she needs to get away? So we you can, can you can give her a basic thief knowledge like this is what I would do if I was stake if I was uh, infiltrating a manor but like you know nothing about the layout of no, this no, no, manor. I'm saying like about like leaving and get a getting away from the manor throughout the rest of the area. Oh oh I see what you're saying like like in case she needs to get street away. to turn down yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah cool. you can give that sort of basic information we don't necessarily need to like spill it now but anna right, we, we can right. assume that anna yeah. if if audrin spills this to her anna at least has the basic knowledge that you would have of shadow shore around the manor um so if we if we do come across that we can know now that anna knows that Here we would go. it maybe then be a good idea if delhi stays with take we i'm just thinking though we might need to <sighs> Yeah, it's it's not easy because I'm because neither of us are I, healers. Yeah, Take Queen and I are the only one, only ones with healing magic. We could also just oh, we all go in and we're we could all bold. go in. It's just that you're gonna risk me like, you know, ruining stealth. But we do, we can do pass that trace. No, and that's, but that's fair, only plus right? ten. Like, and guidance is another D four though. You can't do both of them at the same time though. Aren't they both concentration? Well, I do I do guidance. Give her that. Right, but it breaks as soon as I try and switch. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Darn. So, um, um, yeah, I mean, it's not, like, as long as I roll a five or a higher, right? Like, in theory, like, that should probably be good enough. But, you know, it's just, it's a risk, you know? But, I mean, no matter what we do, it's going to be a risk. So, yeah, I think that's up to Anna and how she wants to handle the mission. Um. So, Caleb, basically, we're saying that the guy is going to be in his manor tonight. He's not going to. Yeah, there's no reason that okay. we would make a big deal about having to roll to make sure that happened. Yeah, it's fine. OK, that's I just want to, like, make sure that's that's the one piece you for sure know is that he will be in his uh, manor tonight. So should we have a rowboat stored <laughs> on the water? <laughs> <laughs> for an Pacific escape route classic and rowboat adventure specifically Love one it. we're okay with destroying yeah like would that be a good option to like have that stored just in case we need to get away i mean yeah like the water's right here so if you could have right stowed right there but some kind of like we can truly we can even if if we get on the rowboat we can just like get what if we have ro one rowboat stored by the manor and then one stored on the opposite side of Parrot's Island so we can escape by getting to Parrot's Island running across getting on a different rowboat so keep in leaving. mind Parrot Island is mostly cliffs and only really has one path that leads in inland so oh. it's not like you can just run around it um okay yeah just kidding that, yeah the plan was not would not be quite as efficient as you would think <sighs> okay I mean, I feel like if it's walled and has guards, there's not really a great way to do any further recon. What would be the possibility 
of being able to find someone who used to work for the manor who does not anymore, who would sell us for a good amount of gold information about like a map of the manor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's definitely an option. You could seek that seek that out. Because I feel like in Shadow Shore, the way to go is just bribe people. people. Yeah. Yeah. Bribe people. Yeah. Yeah. And I have gold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, probably the way to go with that is Audrin uses his Shadow Shore connections to, you know, throw some tennis shoes over a you know electric wire or whatever we said and um you signal to whatever guard that uh yeah you try to try to set up something right and then yeah um because yeah audrey would be the one with the connections that could make a meeting like that happen um but whoever wants to could make a persuasion role of some sort to try to get him to be cooperative i mean who has the best persuasion audrey i think it's audrey probably either that or take I could guidance him for this too. You're muted. Persuasion's five. Oh. A five. Yeah, because we can do. Seven. What if we did that? You can get guidance, and maybe we would get advantage by throwing some gold in there. I mean, well, you get think, advantage by even just having take we talk. To oh, you, so okay, or just do that. I mean, you probably have to pay a gold. But lower, yeah. yeah. Maybe lower a DC by paying yep. some gold. Um, exactly. Okay, this will just come out of my gold because this is my thing. Sounds good. So I will. What's a good amount of bribe gold, Audrin? Do you know? Uh, For this kind of information, I yeah. probably would. Um, what would that be? Like, would it be like a hundred gold? I have no idea. So it would have to be right. So. Apparently, this dude has very tight security, very loyal guards. I would say it ha- probably have to be pretty steep. I would say maybe, Audrin, you maybe tell Anna a thousand gold. A oh, thousand cow. gold? As, as, like, a, as like a starting price, you could work him down from that, but that's probably what he would ask straight okay. off. I have a thousand gold to give. So like, if we really fail... You can still make it happen. I have it to give. But I would love if I didn't have to pay yeah. that much. Yeah. But I feel like having knowledge of this manner would be really helpful. And it is my calling to infiltrate the Blood Sister. So uh-huh. this has to work. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm trying to think what role there would be, if any, to have Audrey. Right, we need like a contact. circles role. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's literally what I'm thinking. I'm like, circles role is what we need here. But um, I'm looking at what we have uh, that would be a luck save right to see if he knows somebody uh luck or i could see this being a uh... so i mean we could do luck save that's obviously what we could do with anything like this but i, I I'm feel trying like to it's think too of... random exactly for right luck audra needs we need something I, I was hoping that thieves can't would be a proficiency you could roll on but it's not um like I was, I was thinking that right, like something where ah, uh, my thiefiness is what I'm rolling on here, but I don't really know that there's really a. I mean, skill if you're doing anything. that, it could just be charisma, either charisma or if you're trying to be thiefy stuff, like a dex check of some sort, like with profici- proficiency. I don't know. Uh, I you know, l- let's do this. Let's do this, Audrin. Um, go ahead and make. What is your? You have the same bonus to your dexterity and your charisma anyway. Make a thieves tools check, right? You're just doing thieves tools with uh, charis- charisma is what you're doing right now. Um, I just I just need something that's getting your proficiency as well, right? To be like, I am a rogue. I can do this sort of thing. So just go ahead and do thieves, thieves tools, tools with charisma. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the same bonus. So you can just click it and it won't matter. But Ooh, Ooh. nice. 24 is very good. Um, cool. So I think you can set this up. No problem. I mean, at the very least, the guy's going to meet with you. Um, it, it doesn't hurt him at all to do so. So the meeting is probably not too difficult to set up. Where, where would you have this meeting? Just like really, a tavern. Just right the front door. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
have the rowboat on the water nearby and they just be like, psst, psst, come here. And hide in the rowboat and have a little whispered conversation. We go to Parrott Island. <laughs> um, oh, geez. Um, probably at a a tavern that isn't a, that wouldn't necessarily be associated with this spot. Yeah. Would it just be me and Audrin going so that way we can protect Anna? Like, so that way she's not like, associated yes, with this? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Or, or even like if there's like, I don't know if there's like a shipyard or something. Well, let's take a look. Of note, guidance only lasts a minute. It's okay. If I'm giving, I can give uh, him a bardic inspiration if we really want for this mm-hmm. role. There's also, I would get advantage because you'd be helping. Mm-hmm. I'm just if saying. If Anna was like nearby, just like hiding somewhere, she could. That could probably. Yeah, I mean, they can be nearby in case of an emergency. Um. Yeah. Well, guidance. Guidance is a touch spell. That's, that's my main point. I. <clears throat> so I probably could help with guidance. So, I don't think it's probably too hard to just be near an abandoned dock or something or like what that's okay. fine right you yeah. can if you want to set up the meeting and something like that we don't really need to be specific yeah. but now Audrey everybody's can, Audrey can disguise me correct uh yeah you guys can wear, wear costumes i mean i would just prefer to be disguised like this guy probably knows Audrey, right or something he like some kind of could know Audrey, not necessarily could know but... Audrin. i don't know so i guess that's up to jordan but like i would prefer to be disguised that way they're not like the fire genasi woman uh-huh. came and talked yeah, to me, I, you know. I would probably also be disguised. I mean, you could yeah, just be neighborhood what... watch people, basically, right? Because yeah. I, uh, I don't want to be there for similar reason, like pink dragonborn. Uh, yeah, yeah like you just don't want to be <laughs> noticeable. Yeah, We stick out too much for reconnaissance. It's mission. true. It's true. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Anna is the, like the most uh, inconspicuous Normal. member of your party. In and this yet situation. still would not blend in <laughs> it here. It would still not work, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd use the neighborhood neighborhood hotch what neighborhood hotch. neighborhood watch stuff <laughs> yeah necessarily but sure yeah you know, I'm sure we could yeah you can make a test of some sort to disguise um I think you have proficiency with disguise kit he does not um, no I have the I have disguise, have disguise self, self as a spell and um, then I also have my armor that lets me. Change yeah. my armor. Audrey can be disguised yeah. pretty easily. Um, setting up a disguise okay. for Takeley like... is going to have to be a roll of some sort beyond that. Yeah. Well, Which wouldn't Audrey's... that just be a disguise kit? It would be, a, it would be an untrained disguise kit, basically, yeah. This I could help guide with guidance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Audrey isn't yeah. skilled with a disguise kit, so... Or proficient. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, you can make a roll. He was. No. Yeah, he has thieves' tools, navigators' tools, water vehicles, and lockpicking. No. Oh wait, I think I have the spell disguise self. Hold oh, up. Do you? You mind? I think <laughs> you're a bard. Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> I thought. I think I can have it. Yeah, I, yeah. I you're think I chose it. not sure. to. Okay. Yeah, so, so... Audrey can make a roll, um, but it'll basically just be a charisma roll. Wait, so I'm, what's happening? Disguising Takeaway, I assume. I'm disguising Takeaway? Yeah, with the, uh, I mean, someone is, if Takeaway wants to disguise, right? Whoever has the highest right. charisma bonus is basically what this is. I have a plus two charisma, like, what, could I just, like... You can just roll it yourself, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's the same either way. I put on makeup in Lavinia's manner, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just a charisma check. Yep. Okay, and you're going to cast guidance on me to, like, Help me. I cast guidance on both of you to make to give you an extra d4, yeah. Oh no. Definitely. Roll a d4. Roll the yeah, d4. Definitely roll it. Mm-hmm. Well, eleven is better than a nine, but I not don't much better. There would have been any way for me to help her. I mean you could, but you're not trained in it, so 
Right. I mean, it yeah. could just be right that I I successfully disguised myself, but it's obvious disguise kind of. Yeah, thing. I mean, it's like as uh, uh, really what it it's is. Like a as, Aussie with a brown mustache. Let me really quick check what <laughs> and, a, and a and a clip on one of those noses that you put on over. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, what is disguises usually? Do they have? Do you, is it like perception based or do you roll an intelligence save of, or something? Do you, do you guys remember? What's normally? No, it's not something situation? that came. It's not something that came up often. I'm like, we haven't really done disguises before. Yeah, we really didn't before. have any reason to disguise before. <laughs> we just, there was murder hopes. So disguise kit. Make a visual disguise. Yeah, I think it would probably just be whatever his passive perception is. Which luckily for you. Against, okay, well, wait. Against yeah. disguise self. You have to succeed on an intelligence investigation. Check. Yes, I think that's because it's an illusion, okay. right? I think yeah. it's. I think if it's just a normal disguise kit, it's just perception. You just say perception. Yeah, okay. and luckily for you, Takeui, his passive perception is a ten, wow. so you have just barely managed. Like this, oh probably. Oh my gosh. He's probably like that's probably a like, really. Like, he's probably like that's a really, like, that's a really bad disguise, but woman. I. I don't actually know what she's supposed. To, what she actually Look is. Look like. Right. Like yeah. she has a really big wig on, and there is some smoke coming out from underneath yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, but I can't really put together what that means. It's obvious to him that he's you've it's disguised like yourself. It's like glowing underneath. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's obvious to him that you've disguised yourself, but it's not obvious to him right. what you are originally. What so. I am, okay. but also that's like fine. that's all that matters. Yeah, I feel like that's probably normal in Shadow Shore when you're dealing with this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like it's they fine. probably have better disguises, yeah. but you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool. Yeah. So take away disguise, and then really, it's just uh, we can just roll persuasion, uh, persuasion um, for Majin with advantage to see how well you can get him down. And a bardic, and a bardic, maybe. Yes, I assume so. I mean, bardic lasts like an hour, right? Yeah, I can. Ten, it minutes. Just, it, Ten minutes. It'll um, it'll minutes. just yeah, mean I have one less for tonight. But um, if you got there, might not be a tonight. To you, then... Yeah, I feel like this is worth it to be able to like make tonight easier overall. Yep. Then take yep. an extra d six. And then you're casting guidance, Deli. I can't. That lasts for a minute, and I have to. And it's a touch spell. I'd have to be there with them in the conversation. That's true. Yeah, that's why I said like I yeah. can't do it. Audrey's just talking really, really fast. So with guidance, it still works. Yeah. So. <laughs> <sighs> if I could do it as a spider, that would be great. But that's yeah. a level like nineteen twenty thing. So yeah. like, it's not happening. I just like have an elevator pitch proposed. Well, the thing is, guys, this is a side quest anyway. So what you just need to do is just go on with the main missions. This will just be still be here when you get back. Get to level 19, and then no, you can come back. Though. And it will be so easy. <laughs> it won't still be here, though. The side quest will have expired. Well, depends on what game you're playing, but yeah. This game, it would have expired by then because they gave me a timeline. That's true. That's true. This is Skyrim, not Pokemon. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, Audrey, you can make a persuasion. With advantage. With advantage and a and bardic. Should be six. Mm-hmm. 21 is pretty good. Okay, bardic. Go ahead and roll it anyway. You might not need it, but yeah. Oh. 24. 24 is pretty good. Um. Yes, so I think you managed to get him down to 500. Like, so still a Done. good chunk of change, but like, that's like the point of these guards is like they are loyal and yeah, he's going to have to. He receives 50 platinum. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, so what do you exactly want him to do? Just like leave a door open or what? Mess with the guard rotation? I mean, like if there's some sort of way that he can allow us to get inside and like if there's any more information he can provide about the actual manor because nobody's really been inside the manor. Sure. Like if there's a best route to go in, like if he can get us past the outside guards is like a huge thing already. Yeah. And I think the the first thing he tells you right away is like, for 500 gold, I could easily have a small mistake happen in the guard rotation. And there might be a couple minutes of an opening that would be convenient. Uh, but then he looks at you, Audrey, and he says, but if you're willing to go a little higher, I do know a secret entrance. So then we wouldn't even have to roll stealth, basically, is mm-hmm. what you're saying? Pretty much. Ooh, okay. that's so appealing. Kind of holds that out his hand. Us, that would give us our full party. That's true. Okay. But How also, 
this gives us this also gives us the information that there is a hundred percent a secret entrance. True. Just because the fact that he revealed that. Mm-hmm. So we at least still have that. Yeah, let's right. see how much this extra how is going to cost. How much does he cost. want? I think He's that like, takeaway is like, how much? My original offer, a thousand. Oh. The secret entrance goes right to his bedroom. Insight, please insight him. Yeah, insight. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> please, please, I'm not there, but please. Do you have a high mm. insight? I, I don't have both, any. Can we, both, can we both roll it? Or does sure, it, that's fine. Is it only one of us? Okay. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing uh, Audra wasn't the only one rolling it. Um, with a fifteen take, we it's not a hundred percent, but you're pretty sure that he's telling the truth. Seems reasonable. Oh, okay, I, I mean, at this lie. point, <laughs> at this point, you guys have my gold. It's truly not my decision. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that, and I had said I was okay with spending a thousand. So. It's up to you guys what you, it also, what you it's get, also up I'm to, not there. It's also up to whether or not Audrin thinks he could find the secret entrance by himself yeah. anyway, right? Here's here's the other question. How much does it cost to res someone? Well, revivify is, I think, a thousand, right? Isn't that here's like my a point. If we, see, if we have something? No, if revivify we, is a diamond worth 300. What am I thinking then? I don't even know. Point being is, if we have to res one person or two people, it's already going to cost us more. So, p- well, and the idea behind this too, right, is that we'll for sure be guaranteed to it. It'll be a real good reconnaissance mission, right? Mm-hmm. It's not gonna. It's the chances of this going haywire are a lot lower. That's my point. If we split the party, there's a chance someone is going to go down, down. Because well, one yeah, way or another, we're just also going to find out who we are and that we're doing this, right? Like, Take We doesn't want to be associated with this at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, I think Take We would do it, even if it means that she gives up her five, uh, another five hundred gold, but party gold or her own gold, just because she doesn't want. I mean, I gold. have given you a thousand of my own gold. Well, I understand that, but I think she would come to you and just say, "So listen, like we we originally got it down, but he offered us more information for the full amount that he was offering." So she would offer to like use party gold for the cover the rest of it. A thousand gold call. is one resurrection spell. Or at least, you know, the diamond that you need to do a resurrection spell. So that's a good chunk of change. Yeah. Yeah, up to you. Jordan, what do you think? Because it's kind of yours and mine decision. So Well, I would I would definitely think going for it is the better thing because it's just because here's the thing if we don't take this opportunity now then they could just make sure the secret entrance is guarded more heavily if we that's true time. yeah right that's true like if the you fact did... that he's now told us about it yeah like would like if we said nah and then walked away he'd probably be keen enough to be like you know, now that I've told them that there is a secret entrance, entrance let's make yeah. sure that that's yeah. more heavily I think guarded. that's a very keen insight of Audrin's uh, yeah that seems seems correct. So I feel like the only option at this point is to do it, and I'm willing to put some of my own gold if I like. I'm fine with that. That's fine. I don't think I. I <laughs> Anna's already would, said uh, you can spend all of her gold. Uh, you, my uh, my gold on my page is already erased. Like a thousand <laughs> gold is gone from my. You guys have a thousand gold. It is off the table. <laughs> so. All right, then let's just let's do it. Okay. Yeah. So we say, okay, we'll do it. Very good. Well, uh, I had an offer to join uh, a different organization in the city. So I think after tonight, I might take them up on that job security and all that anyway. That's right. You'll be out of a job after tonight. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thank you for making the decision for me. It was a rough one, but... uh, I think I'll I'll be starting my new position with a good chunk of change. Pleasure doing business with you. And he waves you off. So he does yeah. tell us the entrance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Wait. it is uh, a classic sewer entrance, right? Um, you know, up through the sewers, uh, there's like, you know, this hidden piece of the wall that you can press on and it slides out. And yeah, it, it, some stairs climb up right to uh, his bedroom. Um. So is the sewer entrance inside the walls or is it outside the walls? It is inside the walls. Okay. 
So I think it. Wait, so, inside the walls of his manor? I'm confused. So you have to get inside the walls of the manor, um, go no, no, into no, no, the no. sewer there? No, 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 no. So, oh, okay. So somewhere in the sewers, I mean, you can enter the sewers from wherever, right? Um, where, wherever in Shadow Shore, probably. Um, right. And find that your way there. That like he would have this because that's like if somebody does infiltrate his manor, exactly. he has escape Easy route. escape route for him, yeah. So maybe at that point, It'll like his doom. we mm-hmm. we can we can go into the sewers, get up to like the door to his room, leave Taqui in the staircase, sneak in, sure. and then yeah. uh, like leave Taqui and Delhi like right there. Mm-hmm. Do you guys? As, we do we have as, those sending stones still? Yeah, yeah. Use those in case they need us to. Russian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, if it leads right to his bedroom, theoretically, it's right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a moral question, real quick. Are we also <laughs> going to pillage his room and take his stuff or just kill him and go? I personally am not going to, but you guys are helping me. You can do whatever you want. I feel like if any of the party, Audrey would be the one who would most, either Audrey or Dally would be the most likely to steal his stuff. Yeah. Dally would. Takeway's already on the fence yeah, about this whole thing. I'm just like, yeah. I'm just trying to kill a bad man. Honestly, what Audrin would be doing is he'd be looking for information and maps sure. and things that would like be like the golden stuff. Secret hit list. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like stuff that's like, oh, this is good information to have. Like that's the kind of things. Or like, oh, he was associated with these people. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, apparently he's connected to Sure. Yeah. So like that's the stuff that Audrin would specifically look for. Cool. So we have our, our plan set up. Um, is there anything else some people wanted to do before that point? Um, how long how much time do we have? The whole day. Like, but what time of day is it at this point? Uh, probably not super late. And, and and even if you, I mean, the only thing you guys basically did is set up a meeting and you, you know, you could have been doing other things while waiting for the appointed time for that. So, um, yeah. So uh, Delhi like would want to be. Sure. <laughs> Delhi would want to, well, and since while you guys are doing all this stuff, since yeah, the only thing Delhi had to do was help with the disguise technically. Yep. I think she would try and do some research on what the heck a, Wake portal. Wake portal yeah. is sounds good. Uh, where are you going to do this? Um, well, since uh, obviously the the head honcho at the collectors had no idea, no idea <laughs> what it was. He would go probably to um. Well, since Takeui is not going with him, she'd ask Takeui if she could bring her to the uh, Adamant League to see if she could do some research there. Um. Yeah, it should be fine. I, I think we could do that at first thing in the morning, right before we yeah. go to the meeting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. If you wanted. Cool. Um, so I take curious too. So, mm-hmm. um, Delhi, this would be so you don't get the thing is, uh, the Adamant League Library is only good for history checks to give you advantage. So you, can, I mean, you could in theory in in the fiction be studying there, but it's not going to give you any bonus. Um, it just it's the next place i could think of yep that makes sense yeah just just making sure we got that in well, uh, so, I what have trained, so would it just be more like i'm getting because she's not a member of the adamant league yeah well i mean either way delhi's rolling an arcana check here i mean she can roll a history oh, you could right. do a history check on the the history of the term but that's different from what are wake portals right so mm-hmm. so i mean if she doesn't um, get very high on this arcana we can always do a history too so okay i'm going to guidance on myself to well it, would this technically count because it technically is a up to one minute concentration could this work on an arc i don't think a, you yeah this is a more long-term thing than that i don't think it's okay it's different like with the to creating a disguise yeah like you could do that, create a disguise quick more yeah so that, that, that made sense but i'm like this is like a, long, a long research long montage research. yeah okay so just arcana check then yep okay arcana 16 16 is not super bad um what did you know before Oh, wait, that they're i think all i know that, is like we all that we know is what they've mentioned which is that he was trying to make a wake portal it required souls sure um i think we got some put ideas it on a ship. Did, 
Yeah, we got an idea. That, did we? Did we know he was attaching it to a ship? Yeah. How do we know so. that? One way or the other, I think some rule was made, and you did figure out that much. I think. I think Audrin figured that out. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because we knew. Him. Oh, yeah, because we knew they were kind of like pirates. We did we know what they were? They were like pirates, weren't they, or something like that? Yeah, I think they mentioned a remember. fleet or something at least. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you guys. So we could, know. I think we knew because the, the Crimson Fleet is. Yes, but we knew the Crimson Fleet was doing it through what because the, of the letter, right? All right, there were other things. I don't think it was ever it. confirmed that the Crimson Fleet was behind this, but it's not a bad assumption to well, make. We we know we out of character we know it was the Crimson Fleet because of what the head the guy at the collectors said. But that's the sure. only reason we know it. Yeah. He mentioned like um, oh, the Crimson Fleet that's true. Yeah, yeah, as, yeah. Okay, as okay, I'm trying to see. Yeah, I think I that's the only the- I think it's the only time that's actually been revealed on screen, um, but it's not a bad guess. I mean, there it sounded like they were working with pirates or were pirates themselves. There were captains involved. They were hiring a demon who was good at piloting ships. It's oh, not I mean, a bad. The, the letter was from Captain Zay Fidalgo. Yep. And he had a he had a sextant. That's a thing that's used on ships. Exactly. Yeah. It's not a it, it's, it's not, not a, a guarantee that it's the Crimson Fleet again, but it seems likely. Well, I just mean, we know it goes on ships no yep. matter yep. Delhi doesn't care who the Crimson Fleet is. She just wants to know what the heck a wake portal is. That's yeah, true. True, true. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so, but anyway, with a 16, um, I think you know that this isn't 100%, but given there's like a passing reference to what it might be able to do in one of these books, and the only other, like extra detail you get is basically um, maybe 65% sure that um, the wake portal is going to o- open a portal, right? It, it's it's basically you t- you attach it to a ship. It opens up a portal to another dimension so that the ship can go on it. So it can go into the other dimension. Obviously, you'd probably have to have a dimension that had an ocean of some sort, right? Had water of some sort. Um, but uh, that is in theory what it does. Where exactly the wake portals? It sounds like maybe they have to be attuned to specific planes, maybe. Um, so you're not sure what the crimson, what uh, that way, specific weight portal might have been set up to do. But can I look up like, like in the adamantly? Can I try to find like myths and legends about wake portals? Sure. Like, yep, with a history check. That's a history check. I... It's probably what happened is Delhi. I'm in the adamantly correct. Mm-hmm. De- Delhi figures this out and she goes. So the wake portal is a portal. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Never would have guessed that. Uh, <laughs> a real breakthrough. Uh-huh, wait, uh-huh. wait, 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 wait. Or like a real. Would I have through. had it? Wait, wait a second. 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 Would I have had advantage because of my stuff with the collectors? Um, um you gain advantage on Arcana checks to determine the fun. Oh, function of magic items. That's probably a little. That's different. Basi- no. That's basically exactly what you did. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if that was. But so would the so extra with it? Well, yeah, with an oh. eighteen, uh, up to ninety five percent sure. So pretty clear that that is what they're supposed to do um, and that you typically have to attune them to a specific plane for them to do any good. Um, so it's not like you can just attach one to a ship and teleport anywhere. Um, yeah. Uh, take away with a 21 history. Um, you definitely... There's a tie here to demons for sure. Um, not necessarily with the like reaping souls thing, but with um, the way that the wake portals are connected to th- to planes right it seems like if there's any legends about this thing um it's actually probably maybe in the last 100 years or so um you found a handful of accounts of uh, you know crews that got destroyed or whatever right um and only one crew member lived to tell the tale that sort of th- stuff um but it had to deal with a ship appearing out of nowhere right to attack them from another dimension it's obviously some sort of giant portal that's opened up and um, from behind them, they saw a like some sort of land mass, right? So if you're looking through the portal, it's like they're going over water to get into the real ocean, and then you know, framed behind them in the with the way the portals open, there was some sort of uh, island or maybe bigger land mass. Probably hard to tell from just the small glimpse they got of some sort of foggy jungle um, beyond. So that's it's a clue to what plane it might be. You'd have to do more research to like connect that image with a particular plane, but yeah. Okay. 
that's good. I would share that with Delia. Just be like, so there's like legend, like apparently, you know, some account of one person who lived possibly through a wake portal. Yeah. Um, pirating pirate, uh, uh, massacre. I don't know <laughs> what to yeah, call it. Several but... pirate massacres. Yeah. Um, mm. so anyways, that's, uh, <sighs> well, so these people are wanting to go to a different plane. Why? A specific one. Yeah. And possibly this one with a jungle and a forest. I'm not sure which plane has a jungle. Oh, wait. Was that, so was that something you figured out from your research? Or also, there were yep. 20 people yep. with a jungle or forest? Foggy jungle, well, specifically. They could. I mean, I don't know if this is what specifically the Crimson Fleet is wanting to do, but I mean, if this has anything to do with it, then yeah, that would be the assumption. Mm hmm. Yep. That's what you could, what you can find. But yeah, I mean, you could make another roll if you'd like to to try to look up what plane that might be, but. I could, is that just a, a separate history check? Maybe. I think it's probably more, or, a, more an or arcana, arcana check, arcana. right? Because it's like magical plane stuff. Right. So. The fact that other planes exist is not news. Is that pretty well known amongst At people? At the very least, you guys know it by this point. Um, mm -hmm. Whether or not it's common knowledge, you at least know like the Shadowfell exists and the Feywild exists and stuff. Because Well, yeah. Heaven. And, and heaven, Jesus exactly. Well, I was going to say with the whole thing with, with what happened in Terra Nullius, it was very apparent at that point different planes exist. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, map. by the point you got to that little like this is a seven forty seven Boeing. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> the um, uh, at least episode what four or five, six, one of those where you guys found out more about the little spider device. Um, remember, uh, Alan Adale informed oh, you about right. it, it, it was origin was in the Shadowfell. So at the very, at the very least at that right. point, your eyes were open to new planes. So. Um, so wait, so we could. Uh, so tell you can make an arcana check if you'd like to know more about what plane this might be. I'm trying to think of why she would know that. I'd roll and just see what happens. 17. Probably. 17 um the two options that come to mind are it's definitely not the shadow fell it would look too vibrant for that um it's maybe the feywild but it kind of depends um but so it's either the feywild or it's um one of the outer planes so from what you if with a 17 here's a little tidbit for you guys in terms of the new stuff with terra invicta besides terra Nullius. right so terra Nullius, the out the spiritual realm right um was a endless void of destroyed space right um now that was repaired when the devourers left and now it is the home of all the various a, a whole bunch of different gods and demons and angels and other things like that so um most of the other planes besides the Feywild, Feywild and the Shadowfell exist in the outer planes, which is the spirit spirit realm. Um, there's just like different layers, basically, of this one super massive outer plane thing. Um, so either it's the Feywild because, you know, jungle, or it's one of the many, many, many layers of the outer plane. Finding out specifically which outer plane it would be is a very monumental task because there are a lot of them. Yeah. And just foggy and probably, jungle does not reveal a lot. <laughs> well, yeah. That's probably why. Based off of a legend. Exactly. I mean, probably that's what it is. Like, Delhi's heard of the Fey, like the Feywild is one of the more common ones, but all the other ones, she's like, hey. exactly. It's yeah. like a billion of them. It was yeah. It's going to be the Feywild, and then we can adventure into the Feywild. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Last time don't we adventured worry, we'll into the there. Feywild, we met someone who was a little mad. Oh, I loved him. The hummingbird suitor. Yeah. Oh, one of my oh, favorite right, characters. <gasps> Didn't we make him worse? Oh, yeah. yeah. You, guys got, you guys can't we made, made him every bad. character we encountered worse. Let's <laughs> be real. Very true. Um, Very We true. made Miggy way better. That's true. Okay, except for that's Miggy. the only one. Miggy is the one exception to this rule. Probably exclusively because of book club. <laughs> only 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 turned um, out he bad fired not you from us. the book club or actually no you quit the book club you quit the book me. club yeah 
Like Only episode got- 13, 14, something like that. Mm-hmm. Only getting killed was not our fault, in my opinion. Yep, it's true. I agree with that statement. No blame. Cool, but yeah, that's what you know about your uh, research into the the wake portals. Um, and did anyone else have any um anything they like to do before we assassinate? I, I want to get a montage of Audrey training Livnia. Oh yes, that was oh, the one thing for sure that yes. needed to happen. Brief thing I would want to do yeah. is I would just go give Father Valentine the heads up that we're doing it tonight. Okay. Yep. Yep. I so really wish you would have just stopped at heads. And I just imagine Adam give him the bringing, head throw like a bunch of heads. And he'll drag his Father head. Val- there you go, Father Valentine. So Audrin, um, Yes, I think Lavinia, at some point before this, has asked you to train her in the art of fencing, right? Um, and then she will train you in the art of <laughs> romance. Um, so I assume well, you would train, accept this. Audrin will train himself in the art of Harakiri. <laughs> I assume you are accepting this uh, request. Yeah. Yeah. And it's probably like Audrin would see it as a good opportunity for her to be able to defend herself. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yep. Yeah, she's like, I've been in enough <laughs> dangerous situations at this pi- point that I feel like I should probably at least know how to swing a rapier. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and I, Audrin says, well, see, there's your first. There's your first um, lesson. You don't swing rapiers, you poke them. Ah, good to know. And uh, this is you guys are probably in. Um, He's got a chip in his hand. There's the chip. <laughs> What's that? Um, I'm trying to let me drag it to the Vanderbilt Man. Here we go. So I think let's look at how much room there is here. Yeah, you guys are probably just outside around here, right? Um, out in the larger compound uh, where there's little cups of trees and a little clearing a little pond over here um and uh i think you you see uh carla um in the background setting up a little picnic off to the side while you guys um are 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 practicing and stuff and uh, lavinia is wearing um the only non-dress outfit you've probably ever seen her in um right so like she found maybe her mother's old fencing gear um from a back closet somewhere uh because her mother knew how to fence back in the day i just imagine it's like the stereotypical like rich person version of the armor where it's like it's diamond plated and it's... <laughs> no, no 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 it's it's very practical uh it, it has some ostentation because it's still a noble woman who who bought it but um it, it doesn't it, it doesn't immediately throw you like oh you'd never be able to fight in this thing um so she is like holding her rapier all the entire wrong way and just kind of like, so how do I <laughs> just kind of poking forward <laughs> a horrible stance and a horrible grip. All right. Uh, um. Get in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey just says, you know what? I'm in love with take. We, I can't do this. It just walks away. <laughs> no. I mean, I think Audrin's, um, I mean, you know, I don't know how to sword fight, so I don't know how to train somebody how to use a rapier. So, um, so I think Audrin's not so much taking the approach of here, let me like lean over you and grab your arm. And but you, I think he's starting. It's like, he probably does like little adjustments here and there. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think the main thing is like try, instead of this, like take this stance and like f- like shows her, and then when she gets closer to what she should be doing, then he'll go and like do the hands on. Like this needs to be tightened. So this needs to be up more. Cool. Yeah, let's have uh, Aldrin make a test of some sort um, to see how well he's training Lavinia here. I feel like it would be some sort of intelligence. Yeah, thing. some sort of intelligence based That's thing. That's what I used to do with Miggy. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, you will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, just trying to see if there's like a skill that makes sense to base this off of, but I don't know if there is. Um, 
survival be? No, uh, survival survival's wisdom. Wisdom. So, man. History is the thing that like all other knowledge gets thrown into. But that seems weird. Um, let's just have you make an intelligence check. Okay. I don't think it necessarily matters that if it's if it's trained or not. I mean, you're not trained in teaching, teaching. people how to fence, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh 12 is probably I mean it's not bad, right? Like you're you're doing this the best you can. Actually. As a person I who think, knows how to fight, but not necessarily a person who knows how to communicate to that to someone else. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think the only thing, like the only argument I can make for history is him being taught how by Red. By the Red Queen. Yes, but even you being taught and so it doesn't necessarily make yeah. you a good teacher, right? So, yeah, yeah I, I think in the intelligence, just base intelligence makes sense here. Um, 12 doesn't mean you're doing bad. It's just like, it's going to be slower going than someone who would be an expert at this. Um, an expert at communicating the, the methods. Um, but, you know, it's a pleasant afternoon being spent uh, waving around a rapier. And, um, yeah, I, I think at one point... Um, she you know you guys are taking a quick break and you know um uh carla has laid out the picnic and stuff and has like two glasses of some sort of chilled fruit juice right in this tropical city that, that sort of thing that they might, might have um and uh you guys are like you know taking a break i, I don't know if audrin lounges on the picnic blanket like lavinia is but Question, are there any fruit trees nearby? She probably doesn't have any in her compound. Okay. Yeah. Mm. They're decorative, not practical. Is there room for all three of them? Oh, Carla's not laying down. Carla's Carla's okay. standing off to the side. And then Lavinia at one point like says that that'll be all Carla and Carla goes okay, and goes okay. inside. And Carla gives one forlorn look off past her shoulder. Audrin doesn't notice. Yep. <laughs> um. Yeah, Audrin probably takes a seat on the thing because, like, mm -hmm. why not? Uh, but then Audrin does mention, you know. While you're getting trained in the rapier, it might not be so bad an idea to have her trained how to use a dagger. She nods. Um, and I think she says, um, oh, does one of your other party members know how to use a dagger and can teach her? Well, I've never seen any of them use a dagger before, but I'm sure. I I'm sure at least one of them have proficiency with a dagger. I don't actually remember specifically, yeah. but yeah, take away at least. Yeah, I was going to say. All of them do. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I, um, yeah, all I of them probably says, I imagine take away or Anna, either one probably would be able to train her, at least as well as I'm able to train you on rapier. Yeah, I th yes, I think that would be a good idea. I don't imagine either of us are going to be getting into combat anytime soon, but just in case, I think both of us would feel better if we could defend ourselves. And then Audrin picks up, like, you know, whatever thing that they're eating. He goes, ah, and see that. That's your greatest advantage, Lavinia. And then he takes a bite, swallows it. See? Nobody is going to expect you to be able to defend yourself. Much less are they going to be able to expect Carla to be able to defend herself. The your greatest advantage in a fight isn't your ability to fight, but your ability to outsmart your opponent and to play off of their weaknesses and their expectations. And we can see in Lavinia's eyes, she is just like, you're so insightful and wise. And oh, this is... Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
very <laughs> leaning to forward, just like listening to you. Um, and then um, she says, uh, oh, that reminds me, Audrin, uh, take a look at this. And she hands you, uh, she ha- like next to her, maybe she had like, a little journal or something on the picnic blanket. And she, she uh, has like it marked to a page and she flips to it and hands it to you. Um, and, uh, you know, on one side of the journal, there's the, um, uh, uh, what's it called? The, this is her mother's journal. So it's like written in Sylvan. Um, so neither of you can speak it, but on the other side, she has a piece of paper that's like wedged in, um, that it has the translation of the page. Right. Um, and, uh, as you you scan over it, you see that it is, um, some notes on the like exotic resources that are on the island that she's preparing to take the voyage to. Um, and she's like, with these, I mean, it opens up an entirely new um, market in the in West Africa for, I mean, we don't have this here. Um, if we could actually get to far shore, if we could actually secure my parents' legacy, then we could change the world. She's smiling brightly at you as she points these things out. Uh, as he's, as Audrin's going over this and like, as it, as he's understanding it, he's, he starts to like have a, a look of concern. Mm-hmm. Do you suppose your brother would be after this? Her face darkens. I hadn't thought about that. But I I don't think he knows about it. There's no way he could. I, I didn't know about it. My mother always kept me in her confidences. But she kept this from me, so... She was probably... Both of my parents were probably too worried that their children would get caught up in something that could get them killed. It, it's a very big secret. Can't take any chances. We're going to have to be cautious about this. What do you suggest? Well, if we can, first we might see about putting a stop to your brother, or at the very least, as we're going about this new venture, we make sure he doesn't catch wind of it. Because if he finds out, that could be trouble for us, for you. How do you suppose we go about doing that? I mean, we don't even know where he is. You know, I haven't figured that part out yet. Well, I'm sure but you will. So, yeah, she says, well, I'm sure you will. And then she reaches out a hand and puts it on your hand. <laughs> um, Audrey just like doesn't think of it. He just kind of looks up and goes, I certainly hope so. And there's a moment that goes by. She doesn't take her hand away. She's just looking at you. What do you do? I just, I want to play this as, (laughs) yes. Um, no, I want to play this as Audrin's just completely oblivious mm-hmm. to these sorts of things. Um, just in general. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, should we make an insight check to see if you actually are? Um, yeah, I guess an insight check would... Right, because I mean, Probably. Audrey's not a dumb person, right? Like, I feel He's like there's not. a chance that he could pick up on this. Uh, 
Yeah, I was going to say DC is okay, 15. Yeah. Um, so I think you yeah. understand that she is waiting for something. She feels like there's a a romantic tension in the air. She doesn't necessarily have any particular expectation as to what you're going to do, but she's like, I'm look at me. I'm so pretty. I'm right here. I'm <laughs> touching your hand. Uh, you can tell that she's not going to make the first move, right? But yeah. she expects you to do something. <laughs> I was just thinking, what if like at, this is the moment right where Takeway walks up in her disguise, her poor disguise, and she's <laughs> like, way. Audrey, are you ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't actually have to happen. I just thought that yeah, was funny. Yeah. No, no, I, I was thinking like someone, someone like barging in at this moment, whether it's Carla or like that would be great. That would be really fun. No, don't give him an out. I, he I, has I'm, to I'm make sorry. it to I know. I don't want him to have an out. It was just a funny thought. No, yeah. If I was going to give you an out, I wouldn't have had you made the roll. Make the roll. I would have just yeah. had it happen. Uh, this is literally why I never wanted to roll. <laughs> you can choose not <laughs> to do any do any do anything yeah. and let the moment pass, like, I, and then. I, but like, I that's the thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know what Audrin's response would be to this because I know it would be something that's like evasive or mm-hmm. like we can help you crowdsource it figure out the right response i mean it's Stammer. probably just as simple <laughs> as like you looking away and pull, just gently pulling back your hand and just being you know you don't even have to like end the conversation there right you could just be like yeah oh yeah easy way of doing it is just keep right. talking about the venture right oh you know right. what um I think I think what Audrin does is he like he pulls his hand away and then he does like the lean back thing where he like lays back and then is looking up at the sky. Sure. Oh, but now you just look cool. Well, mm-hmm. duh, it's Audrin. Like that's. <laughs> He's like, listen, I was gonna I was gonna reject her, but not in a way that makes me look bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. No, no. So he does that, and he's and then he just says, you know. I've always enjoyed looking at the sky because it's like an unexplored ocean. She smiles. Like an- well, yeah, I guess she says, um, if you're you just kind of pause, she says, well, unfortunately, you can't really take a ship on that ocean. And then Audrin just like reaches up a little bit and like tries to like acts like he's reaching for a cloud and says, But what if what if you could? She frowns. And then he like jumps up into the air and like flies up a bit as if he's like going to like reach a cloud since he can fly Mm -hmm. and then he just like flies up for a second she i think she like gasped startled for a second she's like oh (laughs) (laughs) and then he like looking up at you he just like floats back down in any case and he like does a little bit of like light stretches we should probably get back to and pulls out his rapier oh uh, yes, of course. Um, and she stands up and looks slightly Audrey disappointed. Audrey Senpai, you're but, so cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> this she is looks, such an anime moment. Uh-huh. She looks slightly disappointed, but you know she gets to still practice with you, so it's not the end of the world. <laughs> cool, I think we cut from there. Um, let's go ahead and take a, a, a break, and then we can come back and do the assassination, if that sounds good to you guys. <laughs> so nonchalantly. Uh, you know, it's just a, your your everyday neighborhood uh, assassination. Yes. Run of the mill. <laughs> Romance. <laughs> Forget that nonsense. Mm. Let's get straight to the bloodlust. Straight to the bloodlust. <laughs> Love it. Let's go Merca Punk. <laughs> and on that note, we'll be right back with more Terran Victa right after this. Stick around. <laughs> 